Hi everybody, Jeff Sherry, museum educator at the Hagen History Center. Today we continue our uniform studies for the World War II paratrooper. The corporal is in the 101st Airborne Division and he is dressed as they would have dressed for their drop into Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944. He wears the M1 steel helmet with a camouflage net. The strips of bayonet were called scrim and the idea was to break up the silhouette. The jump chin strap and around his neck he carries a cricket, a five cent child's toy that was designed to be an identification signal in the dark Norman hedgerows. He wears the army issue riding gloves, which paratroopers quickly got rid of, and the rubber bag on his leg is his assault gas mask. We just didn't know if the Germans were gonna use gas or not. His Corcoran jump boots made in Pennsylvania and his M3 fighting knife on his other uh, ankle. His cartridge belt with a bayonet, canteen, extra cartridges for his M1 rifle. The M1 Garand was first developed in the 1930s and was the standard issue weapon of every American Army and Marine unit in World War II, though there were others that were also carried. The M1 is a 30 caliber gas-fed rifle which can fire eight rounds as fast as he can pull the trigger. Also, on his sleeve, he wears a gas brassard. This sleeve was designed to change color if there were poison gas in the air. Well, that concludes the World War II paratrooper in his Normandy uniform. This paratrooper wears the M1943 uniform. You see it's green, four large pockets, and cotton trousers, but the paratroopers, of course, attach large pockets to the sides. He still wears his cork and jump boots, a sign of a paratrooper, extra ammunition bandolier, and he carries his 30 caliber M1. Again, his helmet has a camouflage net on it. The design here was to take the shine off the helmets, believe it or not. And very rarely after D-Day did anyone put any camouflage in the helmet. Well, we'll go on now to the Battle of the Bulge and January 1945 uniform. The last uniform we'll talk about is that worn by the 101st Airborne and most American soldiers in the Battle of the Bulge and throughout the winter of 1944-45. The 101st Airborne held a perimeter around the Belgian town of Bastogne and held out and then would move on to other towns in Belgium and then on into Germany. The soldier wears the regular 1943 model uniform under his wool dress overcoat. The 101st went into Bastogne without enough ammunition, without proper winter clothing, without enough food. He still carries his M1 with his bayonet and his extra bandolier of cartridges around his shoulder. Well, that concludes the study of a World War II paratrooper. And remember to like and subscribe.